the mainstream press keeps slamming Israel's hospital bombing story. A new report from the UK's Channel 4 News adds to the surprising amount of opposition we're seeing in the mainstream press to Israel's narrative about the deadly explosion at the Al-Ahli Arab Hospital in Gaza this past Tuesday. The report, led by Channel 4 chief correspondent Alex Thompson, spotlights glaring plot holes in Israel's claim that a failed rocket by Palestinian Islamic Jihad was responsible for the blast. And in the supposed audio clip Israel published, which it claims is an intercepted conversation between two Hamas fighters saying Israel was not responsible. It also presents an argument that will be inconvenient for Israel apologists who've been claiming photos of the damage to the hospital rule out the possibility of an Israeli airstrike. So what of Israel's explanation, says Thompson? Sensing a major problem, they worked through the night to get their version out. Press conference first thing. Conclusion? An Islamic Jihad rocket caused it all. They present what they say is two Hamas operatives talking about the attack, Thompson reports. Hamas call this an obvious fabrication. Two independent Arab journalists told us the same thing because of the language, accent, dialect, syntax, and tone. None of which, they say, is credible. Equally, Israel claims the Islamic Jihad failed missile was fired from here, a cemetery very close to the hospital, Thompson continues. But look again at the video of the event. The trajectory of the missile doesn't line up with that location. Too high. Too horizontal. Confusingly, the Israelis' presentation also says the missile was fired from a location down in the southwest. It can't be both. Thompson also reports that while the photos of the blast site do appear to rule out a ground-detonating Israeli munition, they're entirely in keeping with other munitions used by Israel which could easily have taken such a toll on human life. This is what you see at the hospital today. Small craters you'd expect to see from a mortar strike or artillery round, not a missile, says Thompson. Surrounding buildings only have superficial damage, not structural collapse. Some of the windows of an adjoining church remain intact. This makes a ground-detonating Israeli missile strike unlikely, but it doesn't rule out an airburst munition, which could cause major mass of life, but would produce far less structural damage. Thompson also notes that Israel has form when it comes to war propaganda, citing its false denials of the IDF killings of British filmmaker James Miller and Palestinian-American journalist Shireen Abu Akleh. On Twitter, or whatever we're calling it now, Thompson's remarks on the audio file were even more pointed. Several experts confirm Hamas's view to Channel 4 News that the audio tape of Hamas operatives talking about the missile malfunction is a fake, tweeted Thompson. They say the tone, syntax, accent, and idiom are absurd. This is still a developing story, with much still yet to be revealed. But this, to me, might be the most damning evidence against Israel yet. If Israel didn't bomb the hospital, then why is it publishing fake audio clips of people posing as Hamas fighters agreeing with each other that Israel definitely didn't bomb that hospital? I mean, if people were saying, I bombed a hospital, and I knew I didn't, the last thing I'd do is publish an audio file of me pretending to be two guys talking about how Caitlin definitely didn't bomb the hospital. Picture a recording of me doing two blokey-sounded voices going, Hello, my evil friend. Oh, hello. Did you hear that Caitlin definitely did not bomb that hospital? She didn't? No, it turns out it was we, the evil bad guys. We did it? Yes, it was us. That would look pretty silly, right? If Israel is making itself look this ridiculous, then it's no wonder the Western press are not lining up to help it cover up this particular misdeed. They're going to have to maintain at least some credibility if they're going to keep manufacturing consent for other wars, after all.